This is a uh, Spirogyra uh, in a year of this hobby. It's the first one I've found intact. Uh, I'm using a Nikon Fluofot microscope here. And this is one of my low power objectives, a 10x plan acromat. Uh, for about a hundred power when it gets to the sensor. I'm using a Canon T1i to record the video. He's a pretty big microbe actually. Algae. Using even this low power, he's still quite a big object in the frame, so you can tell he's pretty big. He came in a sample of uh, pond water from uh, Mississippi, sent to me by a friend of mine in Tennessee. There's the other end. The vibrations are caused by the uh, cover slip floating on the water. Any little vibration causes it to shudder. And this is probably cars going by on the highway outside. This is a uh, this is 20x now. He's in a Nikon 20x plan apochromat, one of my better lenses. This algae's probably dead. It's uh, been in the sample jar probably at least a couple of weeks. Uh, kind of surprised it's still together. They usually fall apart pretty quick. Kind of an interesting structure. There's nothing else like it as far as I know. Some other interesting bugs in the background there. This brown stuff on the left is uh, just some of the scum at the bottom of the jar decaying vegetable and animal matter. And here we are at uh, 40X. This is with a Nikon 40X plan acromat lens. Another fairly nice lens. You can see the diatoms on the right there. Be able to see the cell walls inside the spirogyra. Ah, I hadn't noticed that before. You can see the little particles moving around inside the tube of the spirogyra. That's, that means he's probably dead. Yeah, you can see him there. Believe me, this is as interesting to me as it is to you. This is the first one I've ever seen. Yeah, see, I didn't see the uh, small moving particles when I was recording this. There's another interesting little bug up on the right there. Has a lot of cilia. And some living diatoms. Really waiting for a meal. You 
can really see the cell walls nice in between the individual cells. Ah, in the middle of that cell there at the bottom, it looks like a uh, nucleus. Out of focus right now, but I didn't notice that before either. Yeah, there's another nucleus right there. About halfway between the end and the cell wall. Out of focus now. And coming into focus right there in the middle. And yeah, there he is. And we're winding down to the end of the movie here.